Yes, this is a very nice anecdote that show that uh, research, you know, uh, very often it's not planned. I mean, the result that you're getting doing research, you know, sometimes, you know, comes out of nowhere. You can get some very important result. What happened is um, one of my students was working with one of these very high intensity uh, short pulse in a lab. As he was tweaking the lasers, he got the laser in his eye. So he was very concerned about that student. <laughs> I was concerned about it. But so I told I told the student, don't worry. Let's before we worry about closing the lab or not. You know, let's let, let's go to the hospital and see what if your eyes, how's your eyes? And so we went to the hospital and here we find a medical student. He looked at uh, the eye of my student and he said, gee, yes, he got hit with the laser. Okay. But uh, what kind of laser do you have? And, uh, and my student said, why are you asking me that? He said, because you got hit by the laser, but the damage is perfect. The student understood that uh, they were using the laser, but the laser were, you know, with longer pulses and so on. In the process, you are producing collateral damage. And with this new type of laser, but pulses very short, you don't have collateral damage. It's clean. So this is very important for companies like Trump because uh, you can do ablations of material, but in a very clean way. And also, in basically any kind of material, that is, can be glass, can be ceramic, can be metal, and so on. You are going to make remove materials, but very cleanly, without any collateral damage. This is what happened with with the eye. You know, with the eye now we are using femtosecond laser to do cuts very precise and very clean. So it's a, the perfect scalpel. Okay, I've always been fascinated by light. I contributed, I think, a lot in a very special kind of light, which we call extreme light, which it's light which is produced by extremely short pulses and the pulses that we are producing is in billions of a millionth of a second, typically 10 minus 15 seconds. So it's a very, very short burst. Uh, during this time, light itself, which is moving at the speed of light, of course, 300 for than kilometers per second propagates only few micrometers. The fact that it's extremely short means that in order to produce the energy, only a small amount of energy is necessary. The peak power that we can produce over this time corresponds to millions of uh, nuclear pl power plants, for instance, but only for a very short time. I mean, these ultra-short pulses, I think, can offer a great benefit to society. You know, for energy productions, for instance, you know, for the, in the medical field, for instance, you know, very important. One of the applications, of course, with these short pulses is that we could really produce some nuclear elements, you know, like neutrons, okay? 
and we could use these neutrons really to transmute nuclear waste. You know, right now in the process of producing energy, we are producing waste. And some of the waste can be bad for us and, and it can last, you know, millions of years. Okay. But what we can do, we can uh, shine, you know, these nuclear elements, which we call neutrons, produced by the lasers, in order to shorten the life of this nuclear waste. There's, right now the challenge, and I think it's where Trumpf can really play a big role, is to design a laser with not only very high peak power, but also with very high average power. Something which is very important is to design a laser which is very efficient. The possibility of producing protons, and uh, which is another element, nuclear element. By producing protons at a given energy, what we can do is we can do proton therapy. You know, for instance, when we have a cancer tumors, we can use x-rays, you know, to, uh, to, to burn the tumor, okay? Or we can use electrons. But with these elements, the problem is that if you focus these beams of electrons or beams of X-rays on your tumor, what you are going to do, you are going to really uh, damage the healthy tissues which is around the tumors. But with protons, uh, you can do the same, but except that now you are not going to affect the healthy tissues. You are going to affect, kill the tumors, burn the tumors without burning the healthy tissues. And of course, this is very what, what, what you want to do. Well, right now, we are establishing, you know, um, these large scale infrastructures dedicated to the productions of ultra high power, high peak power, in order really to observe light matter interactions in a very normal regime. One of the objective will be really to go to look at the interaction of light with vacuum, for instance. In this way, we could observe something which was pre predicted some time ago, long time ago, in fact, that we could really materialize light and vacuum. I think Trump is really a very important company, you know, for the laser. And laser, of course, you know, in our society is playing a big role. And I think it's a very good idea to share this 100th anniversary with everybody. I'm really wishing a great 100th anniversary to a very important company, Trump, which is a leading company in Europe and in the world, you know, on high, ultra-high intensity lasers.